again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 11th of February, 2019. Remini, one of my viewers, sent me a rather interesting link. And it's on InfoWars. Now, before I talk about this link, you remember Normandy? What was that all about? Well, that's when the coalition forces decided to attack Germany. And who lost that war? And who won that war? You think we would have won that war if we didn't attack Germany? Hmm? Why am I making reference to Normandy? Well, because this is really Trump's Normandy. Or it could be, if he wanted it to be. How many times have you heard me say that Trump needs to take control? He needs to be attacking versus being attacked. Hmm? Now, how can he do that? Well, if Trump signs an executive order unraveling Obama's past and proving that Obama was a usurper, everything that Obama has done would be negated. It would go away. Everything. Obamacare, all of his appointments, all of his treaties, it would all disappear. Now if Trump doesn't do that, there's a real good chance that he's going to be in for a very, very rough time. He might even end up in prison. Now the video of Alex Jones is very clear. What's written is Alex Jones breaks down how the FBI Special Counsel Robert Mueller is gearing up to end his witch hunt on March the 1st. But Democrat lawmakers in the strongholds of New York, Washington DC and Chicago, how about California, are planning to move forward with criminal indictments against President Trump regardless of Mueller's findings. Now, do you know what would happen if President Trump is in fact indicted and removed from office? Well, that mannequin that has no expression on his face, Mike Pence, would become president. And then Nancy Pelosi, who doesn't even know who the president is, would become vice president. And what do you think would happen next? Well, there might be another Kennedy moment where Pence gets whacked, Pelosi becomes president, and she names Hillary vice president. And then Pelosi would step down, and Hillary would assume the Oval Office. You think that sounds far-fetched? Hmm? If Trump doesn't take the initiative and attack the beaches like we did in Normandy, he's finished. The dilemma that I have is I don't know if this was all planned from the beginning. I don't know if Trump is who he says he is, a Republican. But it doesn't matter. If Mueller ends his farce of an investigation on March 1st, Trump's going to be inundated with endless indictments. He has a choice. Pick up a pen. Sign the executive order unraveling Obama's past. Tell the American people the truth about 9-11, about the JFK assassination. Sign a bill or a law that provides reciprocity for all concealed carry permit holders. Do what you said you're going to do before it's too late. 
listen to what Alex Jones has to say. You want to pass this one along to your like-minded friends? You want to send a copy to President Trump? Tell him time is running out. Either attack or be attacked. There's no third option. Repost this in all your social media accounts. Ask your like-minded friends to do the same. The link will be attached. Thanks for listening.